Time has come. Execute Order 66. <laughs> Welcome back, Collectors. It is I, Darth Vader! I'm an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan! Last night, Darth Vader came down from planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hold up, hold up. This is pretty cool. Huh? Uh, and it, it actually says a bunch of cool shit, too. Ooh, my, my favorite? That's not my favorite. Not my favorite. Ooh. He said the thing! That's my favorite! <laughs> so, okay, I gotta take this off. I feel like the fat kid and little giants with this thing on. Woo! That's cool. So, uh... Yeah, a uh, little quick story here. Um, I've had this since I was like 17 or 18 years old, back when uh, Revenge of the Sith came out. Literally, that's that's when this came out. Um, and they were also releasing old school Star Wars toys along with the prequel stuff. So I am a prequel defender. Let's not get into how I feel about Disney Star Wars. They need to correct course and make it feel like George Lucas Star Wars again. And I love the prequels. Like I said, I'm a prequel defender. I love the original trilogy. I grew up on the original trilogy. My uncle introduced the original trilogy to me when I was eight years old. I was really sick with the flu and I used to get like really, really bad ear infections. Like it brought me into, like brought me to tears. First Star Wars movie I ever saw was The Empire Strikes Back and the first scene I ever saw was Luke Skywalker doing the flip over with Yoda in his back and they were doing the training and the X-Wing and all that beautiful stuff. And John Williams' beautiful score, that took me to a place of pure escapism and pure entertainment. God damn, we just need to go back to that, man. And another thing before I get all pissy about Star Wars and whatnot and where it is today, Disney, if you own Star Wars, right, which, which you do, what's the deal with not using John Williams' music in the shows, you know? When Boba Fett's on screen, Throw that theme in there from fucking Empire when Luke is like storming Cloud City and dun da 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 Star Wars figure. As long as it's a new Star Wars figure that takes me back to the original six movies. And Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious from Revenge of the Sith. I've been waiting for this guy, man. I, I In black series form, and six inch form. I, I, I've been wanting this dude for a long, long time. You know, I, I'd like to get all like the black series figures or six inch figures. Uh, and, and set up the duels on the shelf, you know, just all the duels from all the movies. That's really all I want. I don't need all the side characters. I don't need the band at Moss Eisley Cantina. Cool, and you know, but I want the ones that mean something to me, if you guys get my drift. And this guy was definitely one of them because playing with Power of the Force toys with my Uncle Tony back in the day, uh, back in the 90s, um, we would have this fight happen. I would have my Power of the Force Yoda. He would have his OG Return of the Jedi 1983 Kenner figure of the Emperor. And we would take those like little swords from Red Lobster and we, we you know, break those off the little lobster handles and they would fit pretty nice in the, uh, in the old Kenner Star Wars hands. And we would have the fight between Yoda and the Emperor. That's what we would do. You know, we'd be like, man, what if it was like back in the day when the Jedi Temple or Jedi were still around and this fight happened? How cool was that? And then, obviously, seeing it on the big screen back in 2005, my face just, the jaw was on the floor. I saw this shit probably like eight times in theaters, man, back in the day, you know. Uh, anyways, it's been a long time coming, you guys. We'll take a quick look at the packaging here. You can see the box, nothing too fancy. Little window packaging here. Star Wars, the Black Series at the top. Warning, don't shove it up your holes, you will die. Darth Sidious, Hasbro logo, little side thingy there. You can see all the 
you know, emperor or whatnot. On the back of the box, we got a nice little description here. Go ahead and pause that if you want to read it. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get the emperor. Darth Sidious out of the packaging. Yeah. Oh, God, inbox collectors. How can you deal with this shit? Here we have Emperor Palpatine out of the box, and I've been playing with him and already posing him up for like the little posing sections here and whatnot, but uh, I like him, and I really, really don't. Uh, honestly, this is kind of a letdown to where in the packaging it looks like, oh my god, I can't believe I have the Emperor finally from Revenge of the Sith. And then once you get him and you start playing with him and articulating him, it's just very underwhelming it's just it's not as great as i have hoped and i have to say the head sculpt is definitely there i see ian mcdermott he's there it's the emperor but this is the only head we have for sidious during that duel with yoda and it's just it's okay but not having a laughing head again this is hasbro you're paying 24.99 after tax you're paying like 28 bucks i like to round up a little bit you know but t around 28 bucks when you really think about it for a figure with a lightsaber and two extra hands with the lightning effect that's it for 28 dollars it's not enough dude hasbro needs to stop this shit i'm just so sick of toys being overpriced and we're getting shit accessories or not the accessories that we deserve. Like, if you're gonna make the Emperor, come on, this is such an iconic villain up there with Vader and Thanos. Give me the laughing head and give me a, like, snarling, gritting teeth, you know? There's so many different head sculpts they could do. And we just get this. It's, it's not enough, dude. And lightsaber's cool. I mean, this is the best we can do with Hasbro lightsabers. It, it's just the way it is. I know, um, you know, well, spend a little bit more money, stop being cheap collector, and go for the figuarts, or figmas, or whatever the hell there is out there, which I, I've just, I've never done it. And, I mean, mainly, yes, because of price, but, I, I don't know, man, like, these used to be pretty fulfilling, and it just seems like we're getting pulled back. Now, you're gonna be like, oh, man, the cloth goods are great, it looks right, it, and it does, it really does, the cloth goods do look good, I mean, for what they are, but it just hinders the articulation so much. It's, it's, you can't get any cool poses. I mean, really, this is the best I could do. All I'm saying is it's lacking and lackluster once you get them out of the box. I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to have a Revenge of the Sith Palpatine in my collection, especially from the Yoda duel. A little touch up here, it kind of sucks that that new Yoda's in a two-pack that was uh, exclusive to Pulse, and he sold out really fast, but what I'm saying is, I don't know why Hasbro hasn't done this yet, here's a free idea, give me a dual wave from every single Star Wars films, even the Disney ones, because I'm sure, you know, people are fans of those too, and they want those duels. I want every single duel from episode one through six. Sell that in a three-pack, two-pack, I am all over that, dude. G give me those. But that's the way you do it, you know? Yoda should have came in a two-pack with this guy, and it should have just came with a bunch of better heads and accessories and all that jazz, you know? What more could he give the Emperor? A lightsaber with a swishy effect would have been cool, you know? Like the, the figure arts do and whatnot. Like, come on, Hasbro, step it up. If you're gonna charge me $28 for a Black Series figure, step it up and just stop being cheap and give me some accessories. A couple extra heads, especially for the Emperor, Come on, man. I will say that the lightsaber hilt does look fantastic right out of the movie, you know. Um, it's it's painted nicely, and it's got that texturing in there. Lightning hands, I love the paint on them. These are really cool, very well done. I'll give them props for this. Right, this is a great accessory to have. I love the extra blues at the fingertips there. Really nice. That, that's cool. Unfortunately, that's all we get. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Nothing here anymore. It's gone. It's fucking gone. Seriously. Lightning hands, lightsaber. Throw that shit over there. I mean, are we going to count these as accessories? He, he's got to come with hands, so I'm not going to count those. Just the hands that he comes with. It's not an extra accessory, man. Going over the articulation, though, I mean, the head, this, you can't move the head. You can move the waist, but of course the fabric's going to hinder it. Okay, I knew there was going to be some hindrance, but... Not be, being able to move this part here, if that was separate there, 
That would have been a lot nicer. Now, the head moves inside of there. That's cool. You're not going to get any... I mean, there's some tilt. Maybe? It's there, but you can't do anything because it's in the hood, so... I don't know. And then just, like I said, having the standard just mug. It's just not enough, man. Especially for the Emperor, dude. Arms can go out and rotate that far up, that far back, of course. Fabric's going to hinder everything. We can get up to 90. I mean, it's single-jointed. We know how that works, you know, but there. Going over the legs, let's go ahead and lift this up. And see what's underneath his undercarriage here. Out that far, and it almost looks like Luke Skywalker. You know, the, the Mandalorian one under there. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, single, but it can... Well, that's about it. Can't even get 90. Single joint. That's fine. Uh, foot, hinge, back, rocker all the way around. This one's pretty loose. I noticed mine uh, leans forward a lot. Oh, yeah. That's loosey-goosey compared to this guy here. And, I mean, you can bend it, but you're not getting much. I mean, it's just... Uh, once you start moving him around, he gets all messy and looks bulky and baggy in places. It's just, it doesn't look great. How do you fix this? I don't know. I, I wish I had another Revenge of the Sith Palpatine from another line, just so I could compare. Because that's what I really want to do. I mean, for 28 bucks, I know prices have risen over the past four years alone. You know, like, shit's been going up. Toys, everything. We get it. It just sucks now that we're paying more, and it almost feels like now we're getting less because the price is more. Where at $19.99, I would have been extremely happy with this guy, but $10 more, I'm just like, eh. I think that's really all I have to say about this guy. Not, not much more I can say about the figure. So in conclusion, is he worth the $24.99, $27, 28 whatever would tax? I'd say absolutely not. Now, is it cool? Yeah. It's cool, and I'm happy to have a, you know, Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. I, I can't do this anymore. Ugh. It's just too claustrophobic in there. So if I'm going to rate this guy, two and a half moheads out of five. It's okay. If you get him at a discount, awesome. Probably not, though, because it's, it's Darth Sidious from Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars fans want this guy. But for what you get for the price, it's just, it's just not enough. Not having an extra head, at least a grinning, evil, you know, head. Come on. Um, the articulation kind of sucks because of all the hindrance of the cloth goods, you know. And I've seen other figures that do cloth goods, and you still got all that sexy articulation. This guy doesn't have it. Die-hard Star Wars fans get them. If you're just a collector, casual Star Wars dude, or you want the main guys... Probably hold out and see what else they do, but I mean, it's cool. Or get them and then resell them later when you get a better one. I, I, I don't know what else to say other than that. So that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Stay tuned. We got some more goodies coming to you on Moscato Bot Collects. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. You all stay classy. Till all are one Moscato Bots. We will see you all in the next one. Moscato Bots, roll out. I love you all. My sons.